All right, everyone, welcome to Liquid Nodar. This is going to be my first long term review video, and I plan to do many more. I have about 30 guns. But today, we are going to start with the MCR Fight Light mock replica from Golden Eagle. This is called the GE6669. And it is an AR slash heavy machine gun, LMG, whatever you want to call it. A replica it's an airsoft replica aeg automatic electric and for under 300 dollars, this is a fantastic replica it's full metal except for the stock and the pistol grip other than these two pieces all of it's metal the internals are metal except for you know the typical plastic bits like some of the gears and for under 300 dollars, around 280 you get what is essentially an AR and an LMG type airsoft gun that you can use for your games. So it could be used indoor or outdoor. And I'm going to start from the back to the front and then I'm going to do some close ups and we will see how it goes from there. And I'll tell you some of my opinions on it. Starting with the butt end with the butt stock, you've got adjustable butt stock, typical, but it is plastic. And it's a little wobbly. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not the greatest butt stock. This is where the battery is housed. So this large upper part of the stock is the housing compartment for the battery. And the plug for the battery, which is a Tamiya plug, goes in the buffer tube. The buffer tube is metal. And when we move on to that, the body is all our upper receiver. Again, it's an airsoft gun. So when I'm talking about these things, this is all for airsoft but the upper receiver area of this airsoft gun is all metal. As you can see, it's got LMG components. So, you know, you've got the entire upper housing for where, you know, actual ammunition would go and, you know, be loaded in. But this is all replica purposes. But for a replica, this is really cool. You get like almost all the full functionality of what would be essentially be a real fight light MCR type rifle. And You've got your charging handle, you've got the entire housing, this is all metal, all of it, and you know your charging handle does function, but all it does is hold open the bolt for you to adjust the hop-up, that's what the hop-up is, for adjustment at least, and from there, as we move on, we've got Picatinny rails on both the cover for the ammunition on the upper housing, and on the top end of the the barrel shroud. Now the barrel shroud is key mod. I know that's a lot of people, you know, that's gonna be like, okay, well, this thing sucks. I know it's key mod, but this is airsoft. So you don't have to worry about the issues that the typical key mod, you know, on a real rifle would, you know, have. Uh, I know M lock is the way to go, but for this, for an airsoft replica, for, you know, having fun, who cares? It's honestly, it gets the job done. You know, you're not worrying about, you know, subsonic ammunition shaking um your or rattling the gun so much that your attachments fall off this is airsoft uh other than that as we move along further you've got a all metal carrying handle right there full metal barrel and the plastic orange tip end which is a 14 millimeter negative you can unscrew that put whatever you want on tracer unit whatever new flash hider now one of the cool features is it came with i'm just going to squeak this in it came with quick detachment sling mounts and it can go on either side of the gun. The quick detach sling mount system is on both sides. So it's ambidextrous and I don't really see a lot of airsoft guns, even on like the higher end ones coming with that or even with quick detach, you know, systems. So that's a bonus because that's like 10 or 15 bucks that you don't really have to spend and the gun already comes with it. Next, you've got a metal trigger. Um, it's a decent trigger pull. It's not too bad. Uh, you've got the fire select, which is full, safe, or semi-auto. Right now it's on safe. Um, and then you have your mag release, which is your typical you know, AR-15, M4, M16 mag release. Uh, the bolt catch paddle does not work. It's just for show. But other than that, that's like the basic layout of this rifle lmg you know whatever you want to call it because it does do both now the cool part about this is it comes with 
your drum mag. So I'm gonna put this down right here so we can talk about this. Now, drum mag, box mag, whatever you wanna call it, it serves the same function. These are fake. It does come with these, which is kind of cool because you can actually buy these for $15 extra. And I didn't know it actually came with the gun itself in the packaging. It's got an M4 AR style magazine uh, front end or top end, which will go into the you know AR receiver. And then this will actually feed in and I will show that, but it is a battery powered box mag. So it will feed. It's got a little switch right here. You can flick it on or off when you have the battery in and it will help to feed the BBs in. And from here, you can open this latch, right? kind of a tough one which is good I'd rather it be tough there you go you can feed right there there it is and then close it up again I'd rather have a tough latch because if it opens and then you drop a magazine they'll go everywhere but yeah uh again this is all for show non-functional don't even need it on there uh normal typical AR top half and then the box mag with a battery that feeds this thing can hold about a thousand BBs so you can fire for days you only really need one of these unless you want to carry around another, you know, when there's BBs and a battery in this, it it's a little heavy and bulky. So I don't know if you'd want to carry that, but you really only need one. And that's what comes with the gun in the box. Now I'm going to show you what that it actually functions very similar, not exactly likely, but very similar to a, the MCR fight light platform in reality. So little button right here, press that opens the latch. This stays down, but this is part of, you know, the feeding tray, I guess you would call it. And you flick it, you know, I've seen, you know, video games or movies where, you know, or training videos where people will actually, on the real firearm, will flick it to remove any bullets or excess, uh, what do you call that? Disintegrating links. So, you know, typical AR, you know, reload, put it in, locks into place, you would then Flip this over it kind of sits into place doesn't really lock into place closes and then you would rack it if you know again a real firearm you don't need a racket for this but it's just fun if you're doing any uh practice reloading or learning about firearms it's kind of a neat uh fairly close to the real thing uh replica now one of the cool things which i'm just going to show right here is this charging handle right there it actually will go up so it is out of your way so if you're right-handed you know that makes sense i'm left-handed so this being down really doesn't bother me but it does function you can close it and still rack it again it's just for the hop-up unit for this airsoft gun but that's pretty much it now i'll flick it for you see i don't i don't know why i just pull it off and then ar style mag release so if you are looking into a heavy machine gun that feels like an AR, so you don't have to like learn too much or mess around with too much for airsoft. Uh, this is a really cool one. Uh, the my favorite part, honestly, though, is normal M4 mags, either high cap, mid cap, whatever, will actually work with this. You don't need any of this because, again, this is all for show. So if you take a normal, this is a Lancer Tactical uh, high cap magazine. There you go. Now you have an AR type build, you know, and you it's honestly really cool that you can go from an AR to an LMG. The for indoors, it works, but the only downside is this is a really long barrel. So it functions better outdoors. But for an indoor purpose, you don't need to carry around a box mag if you don't need some big, you know, gaudy looking thing, you know, banging around. So that's really cool that if you can buy any of these for like fifteen dollars um, and then you have you know an ar or an lmg style rifle for airsoft um i just like to clarify that just because people do get a little testy but you get a lot of the cool functions or parts of what would be an lmg or a heavier machine gun and then a lot of the cool parts of what is an ar now some quick downsides are the plastic stock plastic stock it again it rattles it feels flimsy um and i don't like it i might change it out but here's the big kicker the part that annoys me is this buttstock right here this big bump up completely prevents you from using these sights with or without a helmet or mask or goggles 
you can't look down these sights with this buttstock. And the, the dumb part is, this is where the battery housing is. So the battery will go in here and then you'll hook the wire. So the battery will sit here, wire will go in like this, so it'll hook down and then it'll attach through the buffer tube. So you're pretty much screwed um, unless you found some other type of stock that can fit it, which I'll do some testing and figure that out because I like to try to do loadouts and stuff. But this stock ruins the sights, the iron sights. You're going to have to get an optic or something if you're going to keep this stock on. The, um, the plastic on the grip, that's fine. It feels sturdy. But everything, again, everything else is metal. So you're getting like a full metal, heavy-ish, you know, airsoft gun. And again, it's got a lot of the cool replica style functionality. So you can have some fun with reloads or goofing off like I do and still have a really solid airsoft gun. It feeds pretty well uh, through both magazines. I haven't had any issues. That might be a magazine issue, but the gun itself out of the box feeds pretty well. I know there's some bad eggs in every batch, so maybe you might get a defective one. Um, again, wherever you order from, I'm sure they can help you out. I order this from Evike. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I didn't get anything. I spend my own money so I can give you an honest, you know, take on my stuff. And this is 100% mine. I spend my money. But for 280 with a discount code too, you can get it down to like you know, 250 depending on like what time of year it is. But I got this for about 250 uh, And for 250 bucks, getting effectively two different types of airsoft guns that feel good have really good functionality, cool replicas, and it has like the dual capability of indoor, outdoor, and it shoots pretty well. It shoots between 350 and 400 FPS. That's typical, okay? That's gonna be for like almost every airsoft gun I review, except for maybe some gas pistols or gas rifles. But for the most part, 350 to 400 is your typical. You might get some bad duds in there. You might get some good ones. A BB might explode. It depends, again, miles may vary. But on the average, as I was shooting it, it shoots at a pretty decent rate of fire with a 9.0, um, uh, was it a nine volt LPO battery? And this thing great, it, there, this thing great. Wow, I can't even talk. This thing is great. Again, great price, great, you know, airsoft gun and a great replica. So let's do some close-ups now. All right, let's look at some of these close-ups running along this. So starting from the back end, again, you've got your quick detach right there. The stock, which again, not the greatest plastic, but you pull this lever and it will move up and down, lock into about four different positions. This peg right here, it's on the other side as well. You will pull down on it to release. There is the wire and there is your plastic buttstock. Again, to slide it back on properly, you have to pull down on those pegs and it will slide and lock back into place. You have you know, the right side of the gun, which I will pull this back real quick. There is your bolt. Again, it's not a full bolt, but it shows your hop up unit. It does not lock into place, which sucks. I think they need to update the M4 design for airsoft and actually lock that. Here is your other quick detach, your carrying handle, your generic iron sights, and the rest of the barrel. For the top half, you've got, again, your Picatinny rails, your rear sight right there, and here's your big, ugly, bumped up buttstock. This will actually help you to dismantle the gun. I'm not going to, because we don't need to do that right now. And, you know, your front sight, this is your top view. There you go. Now, here is the left side of the gun. There's a lot more going on. Again, you've got your quick detach back there, but right here, you've got your fire select. So there's your three modes, full, semi, safe, back to safe, the non-functioning paddle for the bolt release. You've got your button, you press that and it will open and close and it depresses and locks back in. Here is your charging handle. There you go. And it will function even if it's up. And that's where you feed the fake bullets, your other quick detach, and you can see the key mods and there is a key mod section on the bottom and that's about it for close-ups i will now show opening there you go do a bit of asmr now i'm going to put the box mag in scoot that into place 
Dang, that was loud. All right, and now here's how the fake bullets for replica purposes will feed in. You will set this metal piece here, push the bullets down. Then we will close it, and there you go. And these will sit tightly. You don't have to worry about them coming out. They lock into the magazine in here in this little divot area, and that's it. That's pretty much what it's going to look like. These are rigid, you know, bullets or whatever. I don't know what you call it, but you can see they're not flimsy. They just sit in place. So again, for a cool replica purpose, they work. But this is pretty much it. And now I'm going to mag release M4 style. Ooh. Oh boy. See? And this is what I'm talking about. This is why you got to learn this stuff. I'm a dingus. Let's open that back up. Click that out. Now it comes out. See? Even with Airsoft, you got to learn these things. If you're screwing around with like replicas like that. Now we're going to move on to just quickly show you an M4 magazine. Works the same as any other M4. That's the best part. There you go. Now you have ultimately just a generic AR at that point with a weird charging handle. Some you might see in like some shitty video game. Anyway, pardon my language, but this is a great gun. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have a good day and I will see you next time. Remember, stay safe, stay soft, airsoft, and have a good one.